I want to determine whether the solutions that are formed by each of the following salts would be acidic, basic, or neutral. So we're going to have to break these apart just exactly like we did when we did each one individually to determine whether it was a weak acid or a pH neutral or a weak base, etc. So I need to look at the parts. So I have Na and then I have HCO3. So how does that line up? Well, I know that the Na is part of a strong base. So that means this is pH neutral. And I know that HCO3 is a weak acid, so this forms a basic anion. Well, if I have neutral and basic, that means overall this is going to be basic. Now what about the next one? Well, I have this first part right here, and then I have the Cl. So the first part we know is what? It's a weak acid, so this has an acidic cation. And then we know this is strong, so this is pH neutral. Well, if I have an acidic cation and pH neutral, then this has to be acidic. So we've got KNO3. So we've got the K and we've got the NO3. Now this time what do we know? Well, we know that the K is a strong base. So it is pH neutral. Well, the NO3 when attached to an H is also a strong acid. So it's also pH neutral. So that means overall this is going to be neutral. And what about the last one? Well, I've got the Fe and I've got the NO3. So we know the Fe when attached to an OH is what? It is a weak base. So this is an acidic cation. This comes from a strong acid. So this is pH neutral. So this is an acidic solution.